Today is Tuesday, May the 10th, 2022, and we're, we're talking this week about these obstacles, these mountains that get in our way, and and these trials that come, and, and unexpectedly they hit our life, tragedies sometimes, uh, loss of a job, COVID-19, uh, all these things that, and they pile and stockpile, and they seem sometimes insurmountable, so I'm, I'm believing God. I want I want to invite every one of us. And I'm going to say this every day to to take a regular trip to God's mountain every day of our life to daily enjoy the reality that God sees that's not seen by our natural eyes. John chapter six verse five and six. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, seeing a great multitude coming toward him. He said to Philip, "Where shall we buy bread that these may eat?" But he, this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. So it's you and I in life, and I'll, let's just be honest, there are lots of times we weren't prepared for the stuff, the tribulation, the persecution, the trouble, the test that came our way. We, we didn't feel prepared at all. Well, imagine this, 5,000 men plus women and children coming toward Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus looks at Philip and says, uh, how are we going to feed all these people? <laughs> he already knew what was going to happen. Philip did, and he said, well, 200 denarii would not feed this group. I don't know what we're going to do, Master. I'm adding some words that aren't in the Scripture, obviously. And he said, well, what do we have? Well, some lad here has five barley loaves and two small fish. Jesus said, okay, have the men sit down. 5,000 men sit down. Wives and children probably gathered around. Jesus simply uh, says to him, uh, Let's bless this. And they started distributing it and fed 5,000 men, 5,000 women at least, and maybe 10,000 more children, 20,000 people. Five loaves, two fish. So I'm thinking, <laughs> we just don't see what God sees. And when we do see some of the things God sees, we get natural stuff blocking the whole view. See, I believe from Scripture that God intends all mountains to be builders and encouragers of our faith, not meant to destroy us. God also intends to use the mountains that seem so overwhelming to us to cause us to learn to trust Him in every single detail of our life. Huh? I mean, how many times have, well, for instance, in my own life, my wife and I just, we had this little hobby farm down here in Oklahoma, and, and really, we're too old to try to do this work, you know, in our 70s when we buy this place, and we buy nine heifers, and we lose 2,300 bucks, and and I wasn't discouraged or disappointed by it, because, you know, God has a way of working all this stuff out. And, and then we started selling off the product that we bought to take care of the cows and made more money on it than we had bought it for because, like, prices went crazy, you know. I bought these corral gates for uh, 60 bucks, and they were selling for 160 when I when I sold them. I mean, you got to know God's got stuff going on for us that we've never seen, and I, I didn't get bent out of shape about it. It was a disappointment, obviously. Uh, we had them for almost a year, and, and, and we lost money on them. But you know what? We didn't lose anything in life. All the valuable stuff we have. God, God's trying to teach us in every mountain and every obstacle we face that these are places for our faith to grow. In John 6, it's the mountains are a large, hungry crowd. <laughs> and I don't know what you do when you... You see 20,000 people coming at you and you, you got five loaves and two fish. But Jesus invites Philip and Peter to feed the whole crowd. Feed 20,000 people with five barley loaves and two fish. Come on. That's supernatural. See, God's got something for you that this obstacle is not really an obstacle. It's a faith builder in your life. This test is a faith builder. This tragedy is a faith builder. This crisis is a faith builder. And when we could see that God's at work and we could sit at his mountain, sit at his feet and every day and get his perspective, something's going to change for us. 
every test in our life, every mountain in our life, is Jesus inviting us to understand his reality about things instead of ours. Our reality is based upon what we can see right now with the naked eye. And what we see is, well, what do the children of Israel say? We like grasshoppers in their eyes. These giants in the land. Everything's so overwhelming, so frustrating, particularly when we're tired or we're discouraged. And it just seems so defeating, so impossible that we don't even give God a chance to prove himself for us. We try to take over. We're going to work our way through this. Why don't you just stop? Why don't we just take a moment here? Get up in the heavenly places with God in Christ Jesus. God in his mercy and unswerving excellence allows us to choose what to do about our test, our mountains, these obstacles. If our choice is based upon God's design for us, we move on. If not, at some later point in life, God brings us full face to a similar obstacle to help us understand. Hey, Les, I just want you to trust me in everything. Didn't I not tell you I'd take care of you? So here's the answer. In order to make every mountain in our life a faith builder, we need to see God's perspective and diminish our natural perspective about life. Our sight of reality is always somewhat less than God's. Let's get God's perspective. Father, here we are. Again, trying to follow through on this that everything that occurs to us is really to not destroy us, but to build our faith that we don't look like we can self-sustain. We look like people who depend on the almighty God. <sighs> I want to rest in that, Lord. I, I, I'd like to camp there all my life, God. I'd like to just sit in that position where no matter what comes my way, God, you're in charge. And I, I'd like to get alone with you enough that I can see what you're doing that I couldn't see with my natural eyes. And I pray for every person who watches this video, they're going to stop and just gaze into the eyes of Jesus, take a few moments, maybe a couple hours even, and say, Lord, let me see what you see so I can walk in confidence what's ahead of me. Thanks. Thanks, Lord. You're so faithful and so good. I praise you. Thank you for giving us your perspective, your reality on our reality. Amen. Keep looking to Jesus. Come on, the whole purpose that we're doing these videos is not promote CKM. Listen, folks, we're here to promote Jesus Christ because he'll carry you through every storm. Have a blessed day. Keep following Jesus. Next test in your life, get on your knees first. Have a great day.